Hi, this is John Park for Adafruit. I've got a circuit playground project for you today. It's called the Class Scheduler. Here's the challenge. My son is in middle school and they've got a pretty complex schedule. Now, Monday through Friday, first period, it's the same class. He's got chorus. But after that, all bets are off. He's got math second period on Monday, but then Tuesday, math is third period, and so on. So we decided to come up with a way using the circuit playground to display the days of the week and the class period with color coding for the different class subjects. Here's what it looks like. When I turn it on, we've got Monday through Friday on these NeoPixel LEDs on the right. And then we've got first through fifth period on the NeoPixels on the left. When we switch the day of the week on the right by pressing this button, you can see that the color is staying the same for Monday first period, Tuesday first period, and so on. That's chorus. That's the class that's consistent. But now you can see if I go to second period, okay, we've got math class on Wednesday at second period, but then when we switch to Thursday, this goes to purple, which is history class. So let's talk about how we built it and also how we built a cheat sheet so he could keep these straight. When you first get your circuit playground, it has a demonstration sketch on it that will show how all the lights light up and the buttons work. Now what we need to do is put our own software on here. The learning system guide will tell you all the steps to do that and how the software works, but I just want to go over really the four key things that our software does. One, it beeps to let you know that it's turned on. Two, it watches this button on the right and when it's pressed it advances the days of the week, Monday through Friday. Third thing it does is when we press this button over here on the other side, it will change the class period. And then the last thing that we have it do is when we flip this little switch here, it goes into a kind of sleep mode where it's going to turn off the LEDs to save some power and it won't listen to any button presses so that we don't accidentally advance the day, but it will save us battery and we can flip it back on at any time to see, uh, hey, what day is it and what's the next class? So the next thing we want to do is talk about creating a case for this or an enclosure that also has a little bit of a color coding to let us know the legend of, let's say, math class equals blue. So I love to prototype things in cardboard. The first thing I did was cut out a piece of cardboard so that I could fit a circuit playground inside and use this as sort of a case to then sandwich an overlay on top that would protect it. Uh, if we look at, here's a version that I created on the laser cutter that covers up some of the board so it won't pop out and it also gives us some little indicators for days of the week and subject as well as color coding. Uh, I eventually updated this to a nice piece of sort of chalkboard green acrylic, also etched on the laser cutter and cut out. Uh, and then I went in and painted with some acrylic craft paint the different colors. And now that those have been painted, we're going to assemble the board. So what I've got are a couple other pieces of acrylic. One is a harder thicker piece, and again, you could use some corrugated cardboard for this if you don't have acrylic and a laser cutter. This is an eighth of an inch thick, and what I'm going to do is place the board inside of this hole. It's a bit of a snug fit, but that keeps it nice and sturdy in there. And now I'm going to place a piece of thin acrylic on the back side so that it doesn't pop out. And then we can place our template on the front and screw these into place. We've got it all put together now. And if I turn it on, we can take a look at our finished work. Looks great. Now, we need one more thing before we can use it, which is a way to attach it onto a backpack. So what I recommend are these great little magnetic pin backs that have double stick foam tape so that you can attach it to the back. Go ahead and attach one here. With the magnetic pin back in place, we're ready to attach it to the backpack and try it out.
And that is the Circuit Playground class scheduler. I hope you enjoyed it. And now it looks like I better get going to math class. Bye. Wrong way. <laughs>